We have to talk about Brett and Dante's little rivalry because <laughs> <laughs> that was the major storyline. I hated that storyline. Oh, uh, Chloe the Brett and, Brett. and Chloe storyline. Yeah, that's crazy. Just, the it, French classes. <laughs> yeah, you know, it kind of came out of nowhere. And mm. I was like, I didn't think that Brett would do that to Mika. I thought they had a lovely relationship and I just didn't see... So I just had to put it down to like a moment of madness kind of thing. And then and then Mika had a pregnancy scare. Yeah. And, and me and Lauren, me and Lauren were like, we didn't even think we were having sex. <laughs> and then suddenly she's pregnant. That storyline obviously was great for, mm. for Chloe and Dante's relationship mm-hmm. dynamic and everything. Mm-hmm. And, and um, Dante showing up to Brett's house was pretty classic. Right? <laughs> so Dante shows up at uh, Brett's house. Mm. Dante confronts Brett around his swimming pool as Brett is lounging, yeah. lounging around his pool. Uh, they really wanted to make like a complete arsehole at that point. Yeah. <laughs> And then when we got up to the kitchen and we had like the standoff and he punches me, mm-hmm. you will notice that there is a vase that I think gets its own shot. Um, <laughs> because as he punches me, I fall yeah. over and dramatically knock over this breakaway knock vase. Over the vase. Yeah, it's just hilarious. Like, we need more drama. 